morning friends welcome to my channel if you are new here hi my name is michelle i'm a flight attendant for a major u.s airline based in san francisco california i vlog about my trips and i do my best to take you guys with me today we are starting this trip off in the employee parking lot we have a three-day international trip today i am so so excited about this one it is a new destination and it's one of the places that has been like the top of my list of places I wanted to go and we are going to Osaka Japan I am so excited I actually commuted in at like 10 p.m. last night and I didn't have a trip yet I picked this trip up around 3 a.m. Um, and it had a early check-in for an international it was like a 9 55 a.m. check-in so I didn't really have much time to get ready um, I don't really know that much about the flight I know we're on the triple seven two hundred and I know know that I'm a zone galley so I'll be business class galley in this first section um and my responsibility is to make sure service runs smoothly up there feed the pilots do all that help out the purser um but yeah I don't have much time because I'm not running late but I'm not as early as I like to be so let's head inside um have no idea about the flight time have no idea about anything yet don't know if we're full I'm guessing we are but let's head in and I will talk to you all when we get to Japan Shine bright up all night when never slow went down Fall in love, drunk mistakes, we're bound to hit the ground Gotta keep this feeling, keep on breathing Even if we're slipping away So I close my eyes and lose my This like never happens for an astronauts, but the damage is really catering my galley now this is what it looks like before it's catering Hello friends, we have made it to Osaka. Um, the flight over here was great. Everything went really smoothly. Um, we were full in um, business class, but the back did have some empty seats. But it was really easy. The flight time was 10 hours and 50 minutes. And yeah, passengers were nice. Crew was great. Everything worked out very well, and now we are here. Um, I'm so excited to be here. Like I said before, it is my first time here, and this is a layover I have been wanting to get for a while. Um, it is 4.17 right now. My pickup tomorrow is at 2 p.m., 2.10. Um, so we have the afternoon, the night tonight, and then the morning tomorrow. I'm going to try to make the most of it. I am pretty tired now. Um, I had first break. I didn't really sleep very well, and it's like midnight in California, so I think the jet lag is kind of hitting, but I'm going to try to like just keep going um and not spend too much time in the room to get tired i do have to like charge my phone and stuff like that so i'll probably do that for a little and then we'll head out later um it is also pretty hot and very humid and raining today so like i said don't know really what the plan is but i am going to try to see as much as i can um but also at the same time listen to my body and then see if the weather cooperates um, the room here is really nice. I wasn't expecting a room this nice, so I'll do a room tour and then let's get out of this uniform and get ready to explore. Okay, so when you enter, we have this really cute little area. I'm gonna put my suitcase here. We have some robes or like kimono robes in there. The bathroom is so pretty. I love how much counter space we have. I love this lighting. And then this is the shower, which I think is so cool. It's like a shower and then the bath are right here in this room. Let's see, I think we got a closet in here. Closet. Got some slippers. This is the main part of the room. We have a nice big bed and then chair look at this cute little window let's see if this opens oh yeah let's see what our view is this is our view we got a nice view of this construction site here but there we have it 
It is about an hour later. I took a body shower. I did my room routine, got ready kind of slowly, and now I'm ready to head out. Um, I, I don't know what we're gonna do yet. Um, I'm going to, I think, walk to a mall. We're just, we're gonna walk and we're going to explore and I'll take you all with me. I had no plans for my afternoon in Osaka. I just wanted to walk around and see as much as I could, so that is what I did. I was amazed at how many different malls and shopping centers were around the area, and each mall had like a million floors. It seemed like there were endless opportunities to shop and eat here. There was also a lot of public transportation, trains and buses around, and I was amazed at how busy and populated the city was. There are over 2.7 million people who inhabit Osaka making it one of the largest cities in Japan. These were these cute little pet stores that I stumbled upon. Um, it was an instant serotonin boost. I just stood around and watched the puppies for a while. Then I walked over to the Umeda Sky Building, which is this cool skyscraper in Osaka that has really cool architecture. It does also have an observatory where you can pay to go up and visit, but I did not do that this time. Maybe I will do it my next visit. Took a quick pit stop to the room um, to charge my phone for a little. I'm gonna drink some water, and then I bought an onigiri from Fair. 7-Eleven, not Family Mart, um, just to tide me over. And then I'm going to head down to uh, Dotonburi and walk around there. And I'm excited about that. I'm not sure if I'm going to walk there or take the train. I'm leaning towards taking the train, but we'll see. I'm going to eat, drink, water, and I'll talk to you in a bit. Okay, y'all, phone is charged. I think we are going to try taking the subway here. Let's go. The transit system in Osaka was really easy to figure out. It was clean, reliable, and quick. I took it to the Dotonbori area and enjoyed how lively this area was. I watched some of these street performers before I walked down to the water. Dotonbori is a must visit if you are in the Osaka area. It is a tourist hotspot that is really famous for its neon lights and extravagant signage. I loved walking around here. There are so many different restaurants, street food stands, and places to get drinks and shops. I unfortunately wasn't that hungry, so I just got this little ice cream cone, but I could have walked around here for hours. I was just staring at all the signs. I was so amazed by how intricate and detailed they were and how fun they were as well. By this point in the night though, I was pretty tired, so I decided to walk back to the train station and take the train back to the hotel. Back in the room, it is almost 10 p.m., which means it is um, almost 6 a.m. in California, and I'm exhausted. I think that's because we basically pulled an all-nighter, well, more than that, and I also just walked a lot, but I am glad I was able to go out. I feel like I did a lot and I saw a lot, but I will be honest, when I got to Dotonbori, there are a lot of, like, food stands and street food and restaurants and stuff like that everything looked so good but I could I wasn't hungry like I could not fathom eating and that's just like the sad reality of traveling but especially I think being a flight attendant because your body doesn't get used to um like the time zones because we're only here for such a short amount of time but I just like I know it was dinner time but I couldn't think about eating because in my mind it was like 4 a.m. you know so I was like not hungry at all I got this like ice cream cone that I saw on TikTok and that was it like I couldn't imagine like eating like a piece of meat or something like that which I was so bummed out about because I would definitely have 
liked to take advantage of all the cool food, but I still have tomorrow. Hopefully we can do some eating tomorrow. Um, but I did buy a bag of chips from Family Mart because I know myself and I know I will get the midnight munchies because I always do here in Asia where I wake up and I'm like starving. Um, but that is because my body is used to eating at certain times and it's not now, I'll tell you that. Um, but I'm so tired. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to do something tomorrow. I'm not really sure. I'm just going to try to listen to my body, get some rest, and we'll see how we feel when we wake up. Good night. Good morning from Osaka. It is 6.37 a.m. I have been up for quite a while. I have been up since I think 3.30, um, which is not great, but uh, I think it's pretty normal for me. Um, it says outside that it is heavy rain right now, and it's also so early that not many things are open, so I think by default the only thing I can really do because I can't really walk outside is go to the gym. So let's get changed and go work out. It doesn't look like it's raining, but it definitely is. If I look closely, I see it. We have a long day of work ahead, so we're not gonna go too hard, but I always feel better after I move my body a little, so let's go get some movement in. So this is a wedding chapel, so cute, and it's pouring rain. Back from the gym and it is raining and the weather says it will still be raining for a little while, so I guess I'm just gonna hang out here. It's still early, it's still only 8 p.m. or 8 p.m., 8 a.m. I'm gonna check when things start opening. If I can, like find a mall or something, I'll go walk around the mall. Um, but yeah, everybody's walking outside with umbrellas, so I don't think it's my time to be walking outside right now. Okay, it's a little while later. I think this is our time to shine. We are going to try to go out and do something. I'll probably just walk to the closest like mall or maybe the train station again. Uh, maybe do some shopping, maybe. I'm sick and tired of being in this room. It's time to go out and explore. Y'all, we went shopping. We went to Uniqlo. Um, I just bought two things. The I usually don't shop at Uniqlo, um, but I do sometimes when I come to Asia and I'm like inspired by like the Asia style. Um, and I, the dollar is strong in Japan right now. So this stuff was not too expensive. I got this maxi skirt. It. hopefully you can see it and it's just like in this pretty khaki color and um, the skirt itself is really thin and it comes with like a lining here and then I just got this basic white button-down blouse we love a little basic then from the grocery store, you guys, that was like my heaven in there. I could have spent hours in there. There were so many things that were very like, I just love grocery stores in general. You all know this, you know this, but especially like a Japanese grocery store, there's so many things that like reminded me of like childhood and stuff. Uh, I'm so excited. Okay, two things of green tea Kit Kats. Green tea Kit Kats are, I think my favorite candy of all time. I love them. 
This is something similar to what my grandma used to make for us. So good. I forgot the exact name of it, but it's really good. Me and my little brother just call it The Roots. And this is called Nishime. It's a, we used to eat it for like New Year's, or we still do eat it for New Year's, um, but it's basically like stewed root vegetables and it's so good. That was like very, that's very nostalgic for me. Some sushi. I had such a hard time deciding which one I wanted to get. Everything looked so good. I feel like these are the most beautiful tomatoes I have ever seen in my life. So I got these. They're so beautiful. This tea. I had a friend that posted on Instagram that she had some tea with powdered honey from here. That was delicious. And I kept thinking about it. And I don't think this is the exact brand. I'm hoping it is what she's talking about though. Just a little pastry. Love a Japanese baked good. Okay, and then, oh my god, I went to McDonald's, which sounds so silly, but um, everyone says the McDonald's here is so good, and it's always so crowded, like, there were so many people there, like, locals, um, so I decided to try something. Both things I got, you can't get in the U.S., so I didn't get, like, just a Big Mac or chicken nuggets. No judgment if you do, though. This is a matcha frap. Oh my God, it's so cute. Look how pretty they made it with the little matcha dusting on top. Excited to try that, I love matcha. And then this is like a shrimp burger, which I've heard is pretty good. Okay, so I am going to eat some stuff, pack some stuff, do all the things. I have about an hour until I have to get ready, so. Perfect time to rest, enjoy my food, and get all my stuff together. This matcha frap hits. This is so good. My bags are stuffed, but we made it all fit. Okay, we are all packed up, ready to go. One, it's 1.55, my shuttle is at 2.10, um, and we are working about a 10 hour flight back to San Francisco. This layover was so awesome. Despite the rain, I feel like we really made the most out of it. I feel like we did some stuff, we ate some stuff, we saw some stuff, it was so much fun. I would love to come back here though. Um, I love Japan, I, I've never traveled here for leisure before. Um, but I've traveled to Tokyo for leisure and Japan is just a place I feel like there's so much to do and see and I want to explore more of it. So hopefully I can come back for fun. Um, but yeah, it was such a fun layover. I'm so glad I got this one. Definitely lived up to the hype. Um, but I am also excited to go home. Um, we land around, I think, 11 a.m. And I have a commute a few hours later. I'm actually going back to Orange County. Um, because we have some family stuff going on and I'm going to be staying with my parents um, for the weekend. So I'm excited to see them. haven't seen them in a while. Um, but yeah, the flight home hopefully will be good. I think we'll be full and um, y'all be in A's and Galley again. I'll talk to you guys later. Let's fly back home.